Ashlyn here with another video of our DIY series. This is an experiment you can try at home with explosive results. So first off, I've got my personal protective equipment or PPE on to help with this experiment. Second off, I have a liquid in here and this liquid looks a lot like water, but it's a little bit different. Typically, water is H2O, which means it has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. This guy has an extra oxygen atom attached. So instead of H2O, it's HOO, or WHO. Just kidding, we don't call it WHO. We call it hydrogen peroxide. You may have heard of it before. It comes in a little brown bottle at the grocery store. It's used to help clean cuts, um, clean an area with an infection, things like that. And since it has that extra oxygen atom on there, that extra oxygen actually wants to pop off and release into the air. Do you guys see right now the oxygen releasing into the air? Oh wait, we can't see it because oxygen is a gas. Like the air around us, we can kind of feel it if there's wind, but we can't really see it very easily, right? But sometimes you can see gas with bubbles. So to make some bubbles, I'm gonna add a good amount of soap in here. All right, now let's see. Let's see if that oxygen coming off is gonna get us some bubbles. Do you guys see? Do you guys, do you guys see the bubbles? You see? You see bubbles? Okay, not very many, right? This is happening really slowly. And you know what? For all of that oxygen to come up and make us lots and lots of bubbles like we want, it would take a really long time. We don't have that much time. So we're gonna add something that'll kind of speed up that reaction. All right, so I, I do have some actual water here, which looked very similar to this beforehand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get three tablespoons of this warm water into my beaker. Three tablespoons. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my special ingredient. This is yeast. Yeast is used in baking. Ooh, it smells like cereal breads, things like that, and it's what makes bread rise. So I'm gonna pour my yeast in there. And I used warm water to make it into a sort of paste. You can see it's getting nice and milky there. Do my wash, my science smell. Oh my goodness, it really smells like cereal or oatmeal going on in there. And you know what, before I put it in there, I want this experiment to be really fun, so I'm gonna add some food coloring. Green is my favorite color, but I'm going to add some yellow in here too and still not really any bubbles yet. So let's try it with the yeast. Are you guys ready? Am I ready? I have my personal protective equipment on. I've got my measurements. All right, here goes nothing. Nothing's happening. Oh wait, oh my goodness. <gasps> Whoa. All right, check this out. We have sped up that reaction with our yeast catalyst to make it go faster. So the oxygen is getting released into the soap and the soap is trapping it to make bubbles. Another cool thing about this is it's warm. It's an exothermic reaction, which means it's releasing heat. This foam is safe to touch because our hydrogen peroxide concentration is safe to touch and you can feel it's warm. You might even be able to see a little bit of steam coming off it, but take my word for it. It feels really cool. We call this experiment elephant toothpaste because elephants have giant teeth. So they need a lot of toothpaste to clean them, right? Except this is an actual toothpaste. It's a fun, foamy, exothermic explosion. Thanks for joining me guys and try it out at home.